it's been a very productive day today so far. And, uh, uh, yeah, I fucking made the book free. The Real Nigga Bible is now free. You can go to therealniggabible.com. Please share it with your homies. Please share it with people that you meet. I mean, let's have fun with this, bro. I mean, dude, it's so dope to be able to give this to the world, man, and uh, just really eliminate as many barriers as I can to get this baby out and to the motherfucking planet, dog. So if you fucks with it, please, please, please share it, man, because, like, I'm very proud of it, and, you know, I like, um, one second, I'm going to check something real quick. All right, my pops is playing music in the background, so I just didn't want the audio to pick up for copyright reasons, but it seems like we're solid. Yeah, man, it actually feels really good because I was given some mushrooms for free, and I made this book from those mushrooms, bro, and it almost feels like, hey, like, This is the cycle that it must take on, which is like, make the book free as well. And I'm just extremely blessed, bro, to be the chosen author of this book. So a couple things, like, let's talk about the evolution of it. Initially, I'm talking about when it, after it got published, because there's a whole, there's so much to this story, bro. It's such, it's such a long story. But I remember when I sent it to a mentor of mine, he he's the one who is the person who said you should put for all races on the front cover. And initially I was really resistant to doing that because I felt like it was tampering with the art. However, I felt that there were people that would really appreciate the book that just were too afraid to open it and to actually have it in their hands i don't know what it's like to not be black so i am not sure about other i'm acutely aware of other people's experience when it comes to the word nigga but uh for some people it's really like a fucking strong ass no and of course we're gonna lose those people anyway but there are people who would still like appreciate it and would benefit them to have at least the words for all races on the front cover so like they're not like feeling like they're going to be ostracized from their friends and their family to a greater level than if the words for all races wasn't on the cover and i have changed my name on instagram on twitter on YouTube, and I even bought the domain name uh, Marcius Jupiter. So, what's the name? What's the purpose behind the name Mars Marcius Jupiter? How did you? How did I come up with that? Well, I said it in a previous video in terms of the name Marcius, but I came up with the last name Jupiter today. So, Marcius, um, I listened to this really great song by Jay Z called Marcy Me. And I was like, what, what, like, what the hell does Marcy mean? So I looked up Marcy, and Marcy is short for the Latin word Marcius, and Marcy is the Roman god of war. And I feel that when it comes to encapsulating who it is that I am as a person, I like god of war because i've gone through so much fucking war in my fucking life and i've navigated so much fucking external war and internal war and i've come out on top many 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 times from going to war with myself and going to war with the world so i just felt like this this name encapsulates this book because it also is a book that can (laughs) create war, you know, especially with just people in general. I was going to say black people, but I think it's people in general. And it's such a powerful name 
for this book, especially to open up the word nigga to other races. You know, a lot of motherfuckers do not fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, other motherfuckers say it anyway. They say it anyway. Like, who cares, dude? Like, I think intention matters a lot behind what words are said, you know? Someone can call you a motherfucking panda, and that shit can, with the fucking hate and intention they say behind that, could be more fucking, like, wrathful than them actually saying the word nigga. I know that sounds fucking crazy. Think for a second what I'm saying here. I'm not I'm not using this as an actual fucking tangible ass fucking example. What I'm I'm trying to say here is intention fucking matters a lot behind the words that we say. And people are saying this already around people who aren't black. Who gives a shit, bro? Just let motherfuckers say it. I don't give a fuck, bro. I honestly don't give a fuck. And I, I do give a fuck if I fuck with the person who's saying it at the very least. I can see that, you know? Because I don't want just any motherfucker just be like, nigga, what's up? Like, yo. Because for me, the word nigga is synonymous to the word family. Because my family called me nigga growing up. And like the closest, they're like the closest motherfuckers to me. You know what I'm saying? So like to me, nigga means family. And for someone just to say like family, that's where I draw the line. So understand this. It's important to understand that there's nuance to this. This isn't black and white thinking behind this. And there's a lot more, you know, to talk about when it comes to this as well. And so, yeah, there's that's Marcius. Now, Jupiter. How did I come up with Jupiter? Well, I was looking up other words that meant God. And I liked the name Jupiter a lot because when you combine all the planets in the solar system, they still do not amass to how big the planet Jupiter is. It's the biggest planet in our solar system, and it's bigger than all of our planets combined. And also, Jupiter is the Roman god of thunder. And I love that as well. Powerful. Marcius Jupiter. And also, I wanted to change the name because, like, my last name isn't, uh, I, I think it raises questions about, like, around, like, the person who wrote this book. So I think just having, like, a powerful name with the book um, is great. And it's also, like, this is a partnership, dude. Like, I am not the owner of this book. This book has a own, its own life of its own. I am not my book. My book is its own separate entity. My book is its own life. And my book is very powerful. And I just feel like it It just doesn't feel right for me to claim this book as like I'm the owner of it because of... I took this book while I was... I wrote this book while I was on Mushrooms, bro. I feel like this book wanted to be birthed and I just happened to be an open channel for it and I I, I get that like the book is like 100% like my personality behind it and it's it is me in this book and I wrote this book and it's my full of self-expression I just still feel like this is something that wanted to be birthed and it just uh, used me as a channel to bring it into physical form i know we got really woo woo there but if i'm being honest man that's what it feels like bro like i just want to help set this thing up for like its greatest success and you know we're a partnership so like of course its success also helps me out and my success as well 
But yeah, Marcy is Jupiter. Powerful. And it also helps protect the identity of my family and, you know, close loved ones as well. And uh, I like the abbreviation MJ. So, yeah, I'm hungry as shit, dude. I've had a very productive day, man. I took some mushrooms at uh, 12.06 p.m. It's currently 4.15. And I haven't eaten yet today. And I have jujitsu in about... Uh, an hour and 45 minutes, so I gotta make sure I get some food in my tummy before I go to jujitsu. so that's how I'm feeling. <laughs>